Our third Bible reading is taken from Matthew chapter 21, verse 1 to 11. Matthew chapter 21, verse 1 to 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent, to, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the fall of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is who, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophets from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the word of God. Amen. Beloved in Christ Jesus, once again, on this great day, Palm Sunday, we bring you a message from the Bethany Congregation of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Teshi District. We speak to you on the theme, The Victorious Christ. Some of men, it was small, you were known to Jesus Christ to me. Many have been with you, Zianna, Wake ngamon je better ni asafu ni yo teshi district wa Presbyterian asafu ni yo je wonga ni ye nyomo ni je chele bile ke mumo kron kron le ba mi wake we mo ni uti ni kano chon ake Christu kunim yelo ni ha wasolia. Let us pray. Father of our Lord and Master Christ Jesus, we thank you for this great day. That in the midst of all trials and difficulties, we've got cause to celebrate your victory in this land of ours. You've given us that power to, to overcome when we believe in your name. Lead us through this service this morning that all men may understand and feel thy presence. May the glory be yours through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. E ka si fan ake bo ni ochuo nuchumo on ha chon ake oye kunim lo onye nuchumo ochu me ya school ni ka agbe school ya na aha mo wolo ni chon ni yo odase ake ogbe school na ojoba me ya kasi on nuchumo ni ya nuchumo kase mo se ona yi jio mo wolo ni chon ake on modern bo ye nuchu mo kase mi omiye eshe shon beloved in Christ Jesus in our daily lives everybody is faced with a task you are provided at 
every time with assignment to accomplish. The way you go about that assignment will determine whether you succeeded or you failed. Whether you are a victor or a vanquished. Christ was assigned a task. A task in this world to save mankind from the power of sin. Despite all the difficulties he faced, despite all the trials he went through, he stood for this word and fought a victorious fight to give glory unto his Lord and Master. Some of men, you were known to Jesus Christ to me. Christ of Ashikon, Neno, ye nuchumondi atu awohede. Eba, ye nagbae ke e jiram of feni e chomye. E ye e nuncho anokwa. Lo wabeni e biyo e nuchumona kunimi yeli e fe wo nuncho no. Azaya wolo e ke wo yuohe. E azaya yi cho ni di nyumye e numo. Kuku ni di e de ke atane huwe. E ko wa ake. Nuchumona atu awo Christo de e hemi e hemuchumo e wumi ake nuchumoni sake echu lo nuncho de enche jo eno ni e folemu e ale lile ni nile lo e alile ni anyo ake me yuo ni ametri nyo amemle ake me ni eto ame yuo ni ame na e wale e e jake a dro kristo ni le ke de mwen in azaya 54 to 9 the prophet azaya spoke of jesus who was assigned and he willingly willingly accepted the task and because he accepted to do what the lord is master has handed over to him the bible says he was anointed anointed with the tongue of learned men to know how to speak even to people who are weary, people who are in trouble, people who've lost hope, people who do not understand the way forward. Some of men, you were known to Jesus Christ to me. I had a tree, I knew I could turn in a mommy, people who are in a mommy, they were burning in Christ to me, na mane huni e piyo ye trina ke drole e wo e chwa e se si e na amane hun e jake nun cho e drole na ka inile e e drole na ka e wale kwa ni e nye damo pimo ke e jura mona it was also given and at a heart that could patiently go through suffering Though he knew of the difficulties ahead, he never gave up. As I have said, I gave my back to the smithers because he knew the task before him. And the Lord has also anointed him with the spirit to patiently suffer. Apart from all this, he was a courageous speaker. He spoke boldly even in times of trials. And so, Jesus could tell Pontius Pilate that you don't have authority over me. You are only doing this because my Father who is heaven has given you power over me. Nuncho hu adrole e wale ni e nyo e yuo ni e shegbe yi. Na wabe mi ne yo Pontio Plato inye e kele ya no kwale mi ake Obe e wale ko ye mi no. Si in che ni yon wen. Ke e wale wo den kou wen. O nye mi no ko o fi. Whoever a self-assignment being given unto him by God our creator is also blessed and anointed by God to enable him to accomplish whatever task is put before him. The book of Philippians spoke about the sacrifice God Christ made for all mankind. He was given all the glories in the heavens above. But for the sake of sinful man, God, or our Lord Christ Jesus, forsake his heavenly glory and position. 
he forsake all his riches and rise of being the sun in the heavens above and descended so low as an ordinary human being to die for our cause. Philippi, wole wa woka wa yuo. Moni Christo ji. Enu nyami. Ne adrole ye mwenye. Si e shi ene me fe. Ye. Bomo adesai e wo. Ye wo ye shai hai e wo. Ne ba chanto mo bomo. Kwani ye gbele ke e shi te miye. E nye e here. Be me adesai a yi wala. No ye wo wa wana ye luka sane papa a mi ake. Ya matiyo sane kwekwa ami ake. Bemi ne she bemi ne she ni kristo babo te Jerusaleme. Ake. Bemi e buwa ame hena. Ni anya ehi. E jake ame na manche ni edi. Ye imri. Beloved in Christ Jesus. Even though Christ was not yet made king. But in this earth triumph entry to Jerusalem, we are told of how the crowd gathered, shouting and glorifying his holy name. They shouted, Blessed is who he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Amela Hosanna. Ke anon chon ni jong wen flo flo le. E ja ke amen na. Ye kristo mi. Manche me. Amanche. Ngobo yuwa ke ame je ame atade ke shuwe shi. Kwa ni kristo anye achono. So mo me. E ne chon mi ake. Amen na me ake. Be me ade san foji in ke ke ji ame. Be me ni pe e wale di ame ba anye noko ame fi. Lo ame kame wale fe wo kristo mi. Le moni di manche me a manche. Kwa ni eba. Ne eba here ame yi wala. They surrounded unto Christ. Because they realize that in them. They have no power to overcome the powers of darkness. They put their trust in him. And surrounded all they had. Beloved in Christ Jesus. If we are celebrating the victory of Christ today, what we are also being reminded is that we cannot celebrate this victory when we remain ourselves. We need to surrender unto Christ. We need to give all that we have unto Christ and see in Christ Jesus being the master and Lord of being our master and our Lord. Some of me, can men a one one ya? I get Christo, a ye kunim Christo, Jim Manche, ni a ye kunim mule, no ni a call the ake, one ya one ya, kedi wa ye ke hawahi. She won no more banya ye moon keke, kedi wa ba tu wa ye ya no kalemi, wa wo Christo de. E jake ko tu wa ye wo ye de, e cho fa ake. O beke ha o he don Si o ye ke ha Christo Lo bi ha bo No yo ke ha le Noni sa E ye nyam wwe No ji noni o fio Beloved in Christ Jesus Christ victory did not come So easily The book of Philippians Tell us clearly That he did two main things He humbled himself and was obedient unto God. That humility made him leave all the beauties in the heavens above to descend on this evil world to fight for mankind. For us to be also be victorious, we need to be humble and obedient unto the word of God. Christo ye kunim keke. Shing male awoliole Filipi bi awoloe. Nibi enyo ni Christo fe. E ba e eshi. Neke twebo. Amo ni di che o fele. E bole twe. Ni non cho chon no no. Ke wu e hiye nyam. Ake e ba e eshi. Ne ba chon tomo bomo. Ye gbeme adesa ate e wo. Male e kon ake. A hale gbe. Ni ta gbe e fe no. Ni mo fiyamo ni bo. Nakan gbe e Christo e. 
ke na kucho fe na kucho pwanshi e hale ni lile se lile ngba mi o e ko ake le di manche me amanche wo ano kwayele ye kristo mi wo he shi ba wo tebo ni ba wo ye kuni me wo hu wo ya ke kre ni akaba awo ke wo ke kristo anye ya no pale mi ni wo ke le ba wuta ni sa wona gbegbile no kuni mi yele ake kre ni sa wo akeba drew Christ was rewarded with a name above all names for his humility and obedience unto his father if we will also humble ourselves and be obedient unto God and our master Christ Jesus we will also receive our reward at the end of the day beloved my appeal to you all this day is in our struggles, in our difficult circumstances, let us remember we have a God who has already fought for us. All that we need to do is to surrender unto his name. We will overcome if we remain in Christ Jesus. So, mame, na be ini bimo keke diake. Be me inu wa yo, Christo he udasene. Wa kayake, eye kunim em awo mumbo, lo noni show wa pe diake, uhu wa bak petele, kuni kunim ni kristo yong menene, efe wahu wa no, wase kuke, non cho a jo wa fe ni etu wo, kuni na be bile, wa nye akashwe shi biko biko, shi ye kristo mi ye, wa fan kunim yele, ye nyungo ni de chele, bile. Amen. Neha was solia. Mobo nale kesuo mo chebo moni oko uye mo edro wogmenegbine. Kai mo wo ya wona di fa mo mi. Kuni wo yebo anopada. Ani wo le noni di yeshiba. Ni wo ke tuebo hu abu. Wo sumo bo ya no kwale mi. Kuni na no wala afi wo no. Your one known choice to Christ Obama. Amen.